Well, pray for pray for Speaker Reichman. He's got his hands full here. Um, now it's my pleasure to introduce uh, uh, a Deborah for our times, our courageous Senate President Susan Wagle. What an encouragement. God bless you all for coming to the Capitol today. Thank you for caring. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your prayers. It means a lot to every one of us here who serve God and who serve the people of Kansas. We are a blessed nation. We are a blessed people. We're blessed because our founding fathers in the 1700 who wanted to escape tyranny declared in our founding documents that we are created beings we are created in the image of god and we are given inalienable rights by that god we don't get our rights from government we get our rights from the creator god And as they proclaimed in the year 1776 in the Bill of Rights, we are created by God and we have the right to life, to liberty, and to the pursuit of happiness without the reins of an oppressive government. And then came in the early 1800s the state of Kansas. And we declared once again in our founding documents that Kansans have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we have three branches of government that balance each other. We have a check and balance system where if one, one branch is out of line, the other branch steps in to correct the problem. And folks, we have in the state of Kansas an activist Supreme Court. And just this last April, they came down with a ruling that denies rights to the unborn, even if they're viable in the womb. In April, they came down with a decision. They misunderstood our faith. They mis misunderstood the intent of our Creator God. And they came down with a decision saying that the woman has the right to liberty over her body. And therefore, in their decision, they determined that the unborn baby has no value. And in fact, their decision will ultimately overturn every restriction we have in the Kansas law. It is a far-reaching decision. And we, as a separate branch of government, as the legislature, have to push back and say, no, we will protect life, most vulnerable life, life in the womb. So in order to take back that ruling from the court, that far-reaching ruling, it's already happened in eight states, and in every one of those eight states, every restriction on abortion was repealed and removed, including not only the late-term abortions, the dismemberment abortions, parental consent, informed consent, clinic regulation. They even strike clinic regulation. Facilities don't have to be clean. But they also strike your conscience clause and in the state of Kansas, we have a conscience clause. And we say taxpayer money that you feed into the state of Kansas when you pay your taxes, whether it's sales or income or property, those funds cannot be used for an abortion. The federal law has that in place with the Hyde Amendment. Federal funds cannot be used for abortion. And we have that in the state of Kansas. 
So we have a Medicaid program where we partner with the federal government. And we take federal funds, and we take state funds, we match them, and we care for the poor. We care for those who have needed services. We care for the disabled. We care for the elderly. Because we're a Christian nation. We're a, we're a, a, a people of faith. So we have that match, and when that money comes down from the federal government, none of that can be used for abortion. But if we don't get this amendment on the ballot for voters to vote on quickly in August, we lose our restriction on taxpayer-funded abortions. So then, therefore, our Medicaid system, our match in the state of Kansas, which is your money, starts being spent on abortion. Not your federal dollars, your state dollars are spent on abortions. And that's why when the House fell short of only four votes, there were only four votes short, I said we can't expand Medicaid because in the states where the court has taken over these rulings, then an inordinate amount of taxpayer dollars funds an awful lot of abortions in the millions of dollars and they fund abortions on third trimester infants within the womb, on viable infants. We're at a turning point in Kansas. The Senate has passed this amendment. We had the two-thirds vote necessary. And now we need all of you to help us just get only four more votes. Four more people to stand with life. Four more people who believe in a creator God knit us together in our mother's womb, who numbered the hairs on our heads and anointed our days. So thank you for being here. I know today we're going to pray, we're going to fast, we're, we're going to pray for hearts to be changed, and then we're going to act, and we're going to talk to our legislators, we're going to talk to them in a loving way, and we're going to say join with us, join with us in the life movement, join with us in protecting life in the womb. Join with us in protecting life outside of the womb, the elderly, the disabled, those who need special assistance. Join with us in all of this. And I'm so thankful for your prayers. God bless you. sing. This is kind of a rule in the Capitol. You can only sing between noon and one. So we're going to sing and we're going to fill this 